Today we are going to see about one of the questions that was asked regarding my previous video that is regarding the framework that we have created. So the question asked was whether we can use the framework that we created to another script and how to use the framework to another script. So today let's answer that question and on top of it we will find another way of creating the framework and we will see how to do the correlation through one of the neoload features so let's dive into the video and before that i welcome you all again to literal's law youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you have not subscribed yet like the video ask your questions in the comment section and share the video with your performance testing friends thank you and let's dive into the video now so let's now see the first question the first part of the framework part so i'm opening the script that we have created last time to give the demo on how to create the framework and how to import and export it so if you have not seen the video please check the description and you can check the playlist as well so now the project has opened so this was the script that we have created last time so let me just open and show you what is the place that we have correlated so this was the value that we have correlated last time and we have also used the framework part so let me start with this so here i have let, let me just go to the framework where we have the uh, framework set so i'm going to edit and i'm selecting the preferences so under preferences we have the general settings and in general settings we have this frameworks and we have the 01 j session id so for now what i am doing is i will i am i have not correlated this script so that's the reason i have taken a backup last time so what i'm doing is like i'm again taking a backup now so i'm duplicating it so now we have two scripts without correlation so what I'm going to do now is let me show you. So we have, so again, I'm showing you. So we have the framework that's a J session ID in the general settings. So until we have the framework, the valid framework in the general settings under the frameworks, it will work when we do the search for dynamic parameters. So I'm doing it again. So I'm doing a right click and searching for dynamic parameters and under this i have told you last time so i'm just searching only the use framework rules and i'm skipping the search for dynamic parameters and i'm clicking on next so here we can see out of all the matching frameworks we have got the j session id so what i'm going to do now is i'm going back to the preferences part to the frameworks and under that the general settings so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unselect all, select this, and I'm going to export it for the sake of keeping a backup. So this is the location of it. I'm just making a copy and I'm clicking OK. So let in fact let's browse and see that to see the location. So this is going to be the location. Let's save it. So let's click on OK and the parameter has been successfully exported. Let's check it one more time. Let us go to the import and check whether we have. Yeah. So. Documents. So let's export it the documents folder okay so we have that in the documents folder so now we are good 
so if we want to import it we can go directly to the documents folder and we can import it so what i'm going to doing going to do now is i am going to delete this particular framework so i'm deleting this framework so now we don't have any framework here that is we don't have any regular expressions here to correlate the value and let's now apply this apply okay and before we do for the search let's save the project and now let's do the search for dynamic parameters and again again i'm searching only the framework rules so now you can see there are no framework rules found right so now you can understand until otherwise you have that particular framework in your general settings it will work that's the reason I told you if you want to uh, even use it in your other system or if you want to share it with your friends or your teammates you can just export it and they can automatically take the XML file put it under their preferences general settings so what I'm going to do now is I am going to import the framework so let's now import the framework so now we have imported the framework so now we can see that the framework is imported and i am going to try that in two different scripts so let me search again so now we can see that the j session id framework has come back right and what i'm going to do now is i am going to try that in another script so the, the the basic principle behind this is wherever the value or wherever the expression matches the framework will get triggered and automatically it will correlate the value so i believe i have answered the question and again thanks for asking that question so if you have any other questions in the neo load or, or any other performance testing related questions please do ask the question in the comment section or you can also LinkedIn me in Wasant M Shanmugam. You can also email me at wasanttc at the rate gmail.com. So let's now try the part two that is creating a framework or doing the correlation in the other format that Neolod have given us. So what I'm going to try is I'm going to find a value which we can correlate which we can create as a framework so i'm selecting this bird under this i can see the product id so to, now we are going to correlate this value so let's try to first first we'll try to find it in the normal way that we normally do so i'm just copying the value i'm just copying the value now clicking ok and i'm going to this flag request where i'm going to see which request or which request has this in the response so here we can see that the actions slash catalog dot action contains that in the response so let's go and verify that so we'll go to the previous request we'll go to the advanced again to the variable extractors and here i'm clicking on the plus symbol and under the extract the value from i'm going to the both and I'm searching the value here so here we can find that this is going to be the regular expressions left and the right boundaries so if you want to do it manually we can do that way so now what we are going to do is we are going to try the other way that the new load have given us so I'm again going back to the request and we have go to we are where we're going to correlate the value so i'm double clicking on that value and we have the expression here and i'm selecting this use and extracted value as the option and i'm going to click automatic configuration so this will actually bring out the extracted value from the request so you can see here so this is where the request is there's a previous request here we can see it and the regular expression so this is the regular expression for the value and this is the variable so this is the name in case if you want to make any change we can actually change it here 
uh, it doesn't mean that you have to use the same value so i'm selecting it as id hyphen underscore births so this will actually help us to identify that particular correlated value and again we are extracting the value from the body so all these values will be automatically correlated and again the occurrence to extract is number two so since you remember the first value is birds so the second value is our first value is fish and the second is the birds so automatically the occurrence the scope of the response so everything will be selected and here we have this regular expression to match and we have we can also see the value to value that has been uh, going to extract getting extracted so here in fact if we want to make any changes we can also choose it choose the options here so here if we choose it choose as one so automatically the value here gets changed if i'm selecting it as two so automatically the value gets changed selecting it as three so there are only two options so i'm selecting two which is what the expectation is so i'm clicking on ok so now we have the uh, value the request that we are going to extract the value and the product id the regular expression and the name of the variable and the value extracted from the recorded response and in case if we want to replace the value in the request we can also try that so if we click on replace in request we can see here how many number of instances it is going to get changed and if you want to replace all we can click on replace all and if you want to replace it manually you can also do that and for now I'm clicking on cancel so let's now see how to do the framework part so now we can go to the framework by clicking on add to framework so here we can see the same way that we have created last time so the parameter name is going to be the product id and this is a new one so uh, let's give the name as product id and let us click on next so everything that we are doing here is the same as what we did last time so the regular expression we can actually copy it from here so let me click cancel for now and i'll copy the regular expression so this is one drawback because uh, every time if we need to get the regular expression we have to again go back and we have to start doing it from the scratch apart from that i think everything is fine but uh, this is one the one thing that is that needs to be added because every other thing automatically gets populated so let's now add the other things here so we are giving it as a product id here and doing going to next so now we can see we have two values that are need to be i mean a two matching framework since uh, we did not correlate the session id so automatically that is coming here and the product id here so which means the product id the regular expression is working correct so that that's the reason it is fetching that value so now we have changed it so let's now go to the framework part and see so yes we can see it here the product id the group name and the value template so everything is set here so this is another way of <coughs> creating the framework and as i told you earlier if you have the valid framework in your general settings it will work for any number of scripts until otherwise it matches your until otherwise it matches our regular expressions so any number of scripts even if you have 100 scripts it will work for any 100 scripts and even that's the reason i told you earlier if you want to try it in a different machine or even if you want to try you, your teammates want to try that you can automatically easily export it to them and just by fetching the xml file and importing it to your framework part under the general settings even they can also use this and the second part which we have seen is by selecting the value by double clicking it and using the use an extracted value and clicking on the automatic configuration where we can automatically create
the correlation value and clicking on the add to framework will create a framework and if you do not want to create a framework and just want to replace in requests yeah you can do that so here we have seen how to create the correlated values very quick I, I, I believe this process would be really helpful to you so thank you again thanks for asking that question uh, since I have missed that part thank you for asking the question and if I have missed anything in this video please ask me in the comment section or if you have any other queries regarding any of the performance testing or regarding any of the tools and techniques please do ask me in the comment section thank you thanks for asking that question again we will be we, we'll meet in another interesting video in our next session thank you so much have a great day